Hello, Mrs. C here. I'm an ELL teacher at Florida Connections Academy. Today, I'm going over the Unit 2 Earth and Sky Lesson 8 Reporting Today's Weather Portfolio Assignment. This is a science assignment that you'll complete at home and then upload and turn into your teacher for a grade. Before we begin, let's look at our rubric to see what we need to do. Right here under parts, I see it says, I drew and wrote the weather forecast for three days. Now don't worry, this project isn't going to take three days. You're going to write about the weather today that we know for sure. Then you're going to look up a weather forecast or predictions for the next two days. I also wrote about the similarities, that's the way things are the same in the weather, and the differences, that's the way things are different in the weather. So if I do all of these things, then I'll get a really awesome grade. And to make it really easy for us, we have a packet that we can print out so we don't miss anything. At the top, it says meteorologist, and that's where you're gonna write your name. A meteorologist is someone who studies weather and patterns of weather. So I'm meteorologist Mrs. C today, and you are gonna practice being a meteorologist too. Below that, I wrote the date. Now, I'm completing this assignment on January 6, 2021, but that's not when you're going to be completing it. So make sure you write the correct date for when you begin. On the next page, there are some directions. Your weather report must include today's weather, tomorrow's forecast, and a predicted forecast for a third day. It must also include illustrations. Remember, those are drawings we get to draw today. Showing ideas for clothing things you can wear, and activities, things you can do to go along with today's weather and your forecasted weather. So remember, based on the weather in your area today, if it's rainy, you might need to stay inside. If it's sunny, you might go outside and play soccer. So there are different activities depending on the weather and definitely different clothes. It's a bit cool where I am today, so I have on long sleeves. But if it's hot when you're completing your assignment, you might not want to wear long sleeves. All right, so my weather forecast, meteorologist Mrs. Z, there it is again. A forecast tells us what the weather will probably be like today and in the future. Use your notes on today's weather. Look up the forecast for tomorrow and the next day using your choice of a newspaper, television, or the internet. Record the information in the chart below using weather symbols. So I did look up the weather and I found out today it's going to be partly sunny. So I drew a picture with a cloud and the sun. Tomorrow, I found out it was going to be even cloudier. It said mostly cloudy. So I drew two clouds and less sunshine. The following day, it's going to be partly cloudy again, just like today. So I drew the same symbol that I have on the first day here. Now, on the next page, we're drawing a picture just about today. So I wrote, today is Wednesday, January 6, 2021. The weather today will be partly cloudy and it is cool outside. Here's a picture of the weather today. I've got my sun up there at the top, just a little bit with some clouds. And then an activity I can do is walking my dog. You can see I think it's cool, not freezing cold, but not warm either. So I'm wearing pants and a long sleeve shirt. So that is today's weather, what it feels like today. Tomorrow will be Thursday. The weather will be mostly cloudy, but it will feel warmer. So it's cloudier, less sunshine, but we're actually getting a warm front. So it's getting warmer. So I drew a picture of the weather for tomorrow. And you can see since it's warmer outside, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt and a skirt. And I'm reading a book outside because I love when it's warm but not too sunny and I can do activities outside. So I'm reading a book. All right, for my third day. The third day will be Friday, January 8th, 2021. The weather will be partly cloudy and cooler again. So another cold front's coming. It's getting sunnier, but it's actually getting cooler again. Winter in Florida is kind of weird. I drew a picture of what I could do on the third day. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and pants again because it's getting cooler. It's partly sunny. You can see my sun up there with a cloud. And I went to the playground. So I drew the monkey bars and a slide. I think nice cool weather, but still a little sunny is perfect for a day at the playground. 
All right, so the next page says weather predictions. Look at the predictions you made for each day. Will the weather be the same from day to day? Will the weather be different from day to day? So my weather is gonna be pretty similar. I wrote the weather will be similar each day with clouds, some sun, and cool weather. So I had that one day that was mostly cloudy, but the other two were both partly cloudy. All of them had some sun, all of them had some amount of clouds. On the last page, it says, meteorologist, Mrs. C, on the air. So you're going to pretend that you are a weather reporter or a meteorologist. So I'm gonna go back to that first page where I wrote today's weather, tomorrow's forecast, and the next day's forecast. And I'm going to give a weather report. So meteorologist, Mrs. C on the air. For today's weather, it will be partly cloudy with some sunshine. The temperature will be cool, so you might want a light coat or a sweater. Tomorrow, it will be mostly cloudy with less sunshine, but warmer weather. T-shirts and skirts or shorts would be great to wear for a day outside. The third day is going to be partly cloudy again, so we'll have some more sunshine, but some cooler temperatures are moving in, so you might want to grab that light coat or sweater again. That's it for me. Have a great week. So you're gonna do something just like that. You're gonna pretend that you're giving a weather report like you would see someone do on the news. You're gonna pretend that you're a meteorologist. Once you do that, make sure you upload your weather report and yourself giving that weather report to your teacher and I'm sure you will get an excellent grade. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. See you next time. Goodbye.